What was that? What was that? What was that a werewolf? Are we under attack? No, Marmar! It's the moon! It's so big tonight! I think it's gonna explode! <laughs> Aish, the moon's not going to explode, even if it looks like it. But why does it look so big? Huh! I'm not sure! Hmm. But no one knows more about the moon than werewolves. Dad, let's find a werewolf. <laughs> I think I just did. Oh. oh, sorry, explorers. I couldn't hear you over all the howling. This is my favorite time of the month. It's when the moon is a giant full moon and I get to shapeshift. But the moon isn't always like this. The reason why the moon looks different every couple of days is because it does a slow little dance around the earth every month and the special dance is called an orbit. As the moon orbits the earth, it goes through eight different phases of life and the light from the sun hits it differently at every phase. The first phase of the moon's life is called a new moon. We usually can't see it in the sky because it's very dimly lit. After a few days, the light hits the moon a little more as it grows, and it turns into a crescent moon, and then a quarter moon, and a gibbous moon, before it turns into my favorite, a big bright full moon. After the full moon phase, the light on the moon begins to grow thinner, so the moon looks smaller as it returns to a gibbous moon, a quarter moon, and finally, back to a crescent moon. So what the werewolf is saying is that the moon's not gonna explode? Exactly, Hayden. The moon just appears bigger tonight because it's in a full moon phase. Ah, that makes sense. I'll try not to be scared next time it looks different. And I'll try not to be scared the next time I hear a werewolf howl. Oh. <gasps> See, not scared. What if you forget one of the phases, Marmar? Great question, Hayden. I can show you a fun experiment to help you remember all the phases of the moon. Yay! All you need are two large clear plastic cups, a black Sharpie, and a red Sharpie. Using your red Sharpie, draw and fill in a small one inch circle on the center of one of your cups to represent your full moon. Place this cup into the second one and label the full moon. Next, using your black sharpie and the full moon as a template, slowly rotate the cup to draw the remaining seven phases of the moon and label them accordingly. And explorers, make sure to ask a parent to help you write the phases in the correct order. Yay! Now you can see how the moon changes from a new moon to a crescent moon to a quarter moon, to a gi... A gi... A gi... A, what is it again? A gibbous moon! Oh yeah! A gibbous moon! And from a gibbous moon, it changes to a... That's right, Explorers! A werewolf's favorite moon, a full moon! Along with lots and lots of glitter. Oh! Those glittery things in the sky are actually all stars. What exactly is a star, Marmar? Stars are giant burning balls of gas. Ew! So they're stinky? <laughs> no, not that kind of gas. They're not stinky, but they're super hot, like the sun. The sun is a star? It is! And there are many, many other stars that are bigger and brighter than our sun, but they're just super far away. How far away? Like billions and billions of miles away. That's why they look so small to us. Just like we orbit the sun and the moon orbits the earth, billions of other planets orbit all the other stars in space. If there are so many other stars and planets out there, that's probably where all the aliens live. And they probably have cooler skies and moons than we do. Maybe, but our sky is still really cool. We can see lots of things at night. Like constellations, when different groups of stars come together to form different shapes and patterns. 
One of my favorite constellations is Orion. Whoa, it's so pretty. I know, right? And one of its brightest stars is a thousand times bigger than our sun. It's called Betelgeuse. I've seen the juice of a beetle? Ew, yuck. Never mind, it's not so pretty anymore. <laughs> no, that's just what it's called. Let's look at a different constellation. This one looks like a bear. That's exactly what it is. It's the Great Bear, another famous constellation. Hey, that's a corgi. Aw, it's so cute. Explorers, the more you use your imagination, the more constellations you can find in the sky. Ooh, look over there. Ooh, look at that one. Now let me show you another one of my favorite constellations. What is that? Ooh, that's a bed because it's way past our bedtimes. Fine, we'll go to bed. Thanks for taking us to space, Marmar. Yeah, thanks, Marmar. Ooh, good night, explorers. Ah. Explorers, remember, you don't have to be an astronaut or an alien to travel to outer space. All you need is a bit of imagination when looking at the night sky before going to bed. I'll see you next time. Bye, Explorers.